Benelli, probably the best semi-automatic shotgun manufacturer in the world, has just updated the Montefeltro. They originally released this in 1983, and now, 40 odd years later, they have updated it. Americans got this at the end of last year, but we in Europe, as always, get things a little later. Thanks, Benelli. Here it is, the Benelli Montefeltro. I have shot this gun, which you'll see in a second, and I genuinely think it's an epic update. So before we go out into the field, let's have a look over what they have done. Let's start with the stock. You have a similar pad to what they've always had. It's a slightly different design and feel, and the density is a little different, but it's a pad at the end of the day. You have a really aggressively designed stock, and the dimensions of it are quite nice. The pistol grip is certainly a little bit more upright and fills the hand in a much more modern way, a much more satisfying way. Let's presume that we've got bigger since 1983, so that's a, a good feature. It's got some aggressive lines, the checkering, everything about it is, is kind of cool and modern. There is a kind of strange line through the wrist. It doesn't drop a lot into the nose of the comb, so it gives the appearance that that comb might be too low. But actually, when you get it in the hand, as much as it pushes your thumb up a little bit, it's not noticeable, but the dimensions of the stock are still quite nice. It's a little longer than it used to be as well, both in the wood and synthetic. The safety is an update as well. You have a big bulbous side here, front of trigger, so you push that in, roll your finger onto the trigger. I will discuss that with you at the shooting ground, whether that gets in the way or not. Charging handle has been redesigned, as has the whole action. As you can see, you now have this kind of smooth cutaway here. And that smooth cutaway means quite a lot because what they've done is open up the loading port so that you can just drop cartridges in a lot easier. They've widened it, chamfered it, and give you a nice extended loading ramp to just all the way in. No more bitten fingers, which was my experience of Benelli when I was younger and loading them in a hurry in the field. I soon learned that there's an easy way to avoid that, but obviously they don't want people's first experience of their guns being, ouch. But nearly bit me. Going back to the safety catch is actually housed in the trigger unit, which is a completely new trigger unit, never used before on any Bonelli gun. And the trigger is really, really nice. It's got a bit, a bit of travel, but a nice clean break. That first stage, if you like, is totally acceptable. It's not light, it's not crisp, but it's not an over and under. It is a workhorse semi-automatic. When you're on that bird and you're pulling through, you just go through the trigger and you probably won't ever notice. But you will probably care if you're into trap shooting or sporting clays or something like that. But even then, it, it probably won't affect your score that much. It's a really nice trigger. It's probably one of the best. There's no creep, no nothing. It's just nice heavy pull and clicking through to the gun. But yeah, new trigger unit. That's quite exciting. The bolt carrier assembly is out of the ethos. In fact, the whole bolt system has been upgraded to make it quicker, sharper, less sloppy. And we'll talk about that in the field as well as to whether that's actually made an update. This is an upgrade. This could be my favorite upgrade on the gun. There's a lot of great upgrades on this gun. This little button, remember they used to have the little nipple? The little nipple that you need to press really hard to get the bolt to drop? Well, they've changed it for more of a paracetamol, Advil, ibuprofen, lozenge shape release catch that used to be in their higher grade guns. Let's, let's, let's be frank that this is the best thing in the world when you don't have to press very hard, it just slaps shut, no effort. That's a good thing. This is a good thing. That shouldn't be reserved for more expensive guns. That should just be the thing for every man. And I think this is perhaps a sign that Benelli will be doing some sort of upgrade throughout their range. This is such a wild change. And I know that the USA have seen the new M2 already and we'll, we'll see that fairly shortly over here. It, it sparks of perhaps a bit of an update. The forehead has changed as well. It is now longer and has some weird molded effect like a Klingon's forehead, which is actually really nice. Again, we discussed that in the field, but it's just you lock your thumb into the back of the groove. It's, oh, it's really, really nice. Overall balance, really neutral. It's a Benelli, so there's no gas system at the front. It just sits fairly nicely between the hands. Really fast, really whippy, and you know, it's a Benelli. So, you know, if you've shot one, you kind of know how most of them shoot. You have an orange bead sight on the front, a choke hole with a choke in it, and um, a box that comes with some spare bits. Overall, technically fantastic update. 
But Nelly were never bad. They were never bad, but it's nice to see that they've put a bit of effort into upgrading. They've had to justify their existence, I guess, in a world where the low end is catching up with them in terms of designs and patent stealing and that kind of thing. And they've done just that, I think. Anyway, enough waffling. Let's take this gun to Purbeck. First impressions are, um, wow, that on the face of it is one of the best Benelli's I've ever shot, and I've shot a few. Super smooth, super instinctive. Generally with the Benelli, the lock times aren't quite as quick as gas guns. This feels quicker and quieter than a standard Benelli. I mean, the stock dimensions being that little longer are, well, that's lovely. And that forward shape that I thought might be gimmicky, actually is really nice because your thumb just sits perfectly in the little shell. The extra length is kind of nice. I'm a big guy, so you can suddenly get a hold of the forehand, whereas M2s, which were my previous obsession, that forehand's a bit short. This could be a good gun. The new loading gate is a huge improvement. That is, well, it's fixed one of the problems of having Benelli thumb, just those extended teeth, that slightly softer spring, and those cartridges just fall in there like butter. That is a nice thing. And I know they say it's slightly quieter and slightly smoother the way that they've re-engineered the rotating locking bolt. It feels like a silkier gun. It doesn't have that clattery, clattery inertia gun feel, which is, I mean, about the only gripe you can ever have with inertia guns. I actively want to shoot this lots more, and so I'm going to. This is a good thing. For a gun that the stock is far too short on, it's unbelievably smooth. So though it's a light gun, it balances and handles very precisely. I mean, they do a lot of good things, but uh, Benelli did a good thing. So aesthetically, you have the longer stock, and that really does make quite a lot of the difference. The stock is also more bulbous around the grip, and that feels one's hand slightly nicer than perhaps they used to. The shim system is the same as it always was, or at least, looks it perhaps it's a slightly different shape for the new shape of action it's definitely more modernized you've got a nice angle you've got that big scoop to help you guide your cartridges in you've got a little ramp there so in the dark you can sort of thumb it in just nicely i like the little angles in the metal work again they serve no practical purpose but just that's kind of what makes guns sweet isn't it when they're just those little extra charms. The way the metal flows into the plastic of the stock is really nice as well. Just the shapes and the contours of this gun are well finished and thought out. And the weird lumpy bumpy forend is really quite pleasant. The trigger pulls as well are an improvement over the previous trigger. They're running about, I believe, three and a half to four and a half pounds, but they're not horrific at all. They're not too spongy, they're just, oh, it's a semi-auto trigger, you're not never going to be a Parazzi, but it's clean, really, really clean. Gripe one, or at least or what I thought was going to be my first problem, is the safety catch. They've moved it back here, it's very rounded, it's very nice, it's got a red, red for dead on there, and a nice big soft button. I thought that was going to get in the way of my trigger finger, but it doesn't. It actually just acts as a nice little weird finger support. You don't notice it, it doesn't kick you, it doesn't bite you, it does nothing to disturb your existence other than sitting there. Yeah, I mean, you can't hate it. What it certainly is, is the perfect push-bang kind of thing. I mean, you are literally never going to go for that trigger to pull it and not knock that safety catch off or at least be conscious of the click. That could be good or bad depending on how you run a gun and how you feel about it. But my thoughts are as if your finger is on that trigger and you're ready to go, probably don't want the safety catch on. You're probably already made the conscious decision you want the gun to go off. And if the gun sat there in a rack or walking through bush, the chance of being pushed off are pretty minimal. It is strangely quite a good idea, although I had immediate aversion to it. The forend has this beautiful swept shape with these ridges with checkering all the way along the bottom or at least a, a grip pattern along the bottom and little grip patterns along the side. Its length is really nice, its new super low profile is really nice but they've countered the super low profile by having these ridges and quite a bit of width so it does fit the hand perfectly. Benelli, you've done a good thing. I don't know no, you don't need my approval. And I don't think Benelli's done a bad thing in a long time, but this is a really good update. It's not just aesthetic, and it shoots like an absolute beast. This particular one is a 12 bore with 28 inch barrels, cryo chokes, and some nice stuff. My concluding thoughts? Well, 
how could you not like it? I mean, aesthetically, it's more modern, and perhaps that might turn some of the traditionalists off, but that does bits for me. I like the lines, I like the cut, I like the aggression and the stylistic choices they've gone with. But all of that aside, because, you know, that's completely superfluous, I think that the fact that it's now easier to load, easier to cycle, smoother shooting and better shooting than it ever was, is a big deal. This isn't a cheap gun, and so you can't get away with it being nasty. Certainly in a market where the Turkish and cheaper Italian brands, brands that are made in the same factory. This things like the Franchi, which are fantastic, fantastic guns, are under a thousand pounds and really good. If you are making a semi-automatic that I guess now is, it's premium-ish, it's no longer a budget semi-automatic, this is a premium gun. It needs to shoot hand and look like a premium gun. And not that they didn't before, but they needed to set themselves apart. And by golly, they have done a good job of that. The new cocking handle, I quite like. In my head was thinking they'd put extended controls on this like they do on everything. But given that this is a very svelte gun, I don't dislike the slightly wider, slightly easier cocking than the old design, but not hugely obtuse controls. This is a good gun, and that's all I have to say about it. Well done, Benelli. Thank you for the update. This one is most welcome. I look forward to getting behind the new M2. I'm perhaps going to be intrigued as to what that's like. We'll find out soon enough. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Take care, and we'll see you soon. Thank you for watching, guys. This channel is made possible by our amazing sponsors. You can find out more about them in the description down below. And if you want to support the channel, you can join as a member. You get loads of extra content, well, some extra content, and occasionally we hook up and go clay shooting together as a membership group. If you don't feel like joining today, we really appreciate you watching and subscribing. Have a wonderful day. <laughs> Benali.